Alright, hello everybody, welcome to the Gear Swap Podcast, week number 25. We don't have a catchy title this week, because it's just me and Christian. Hey, what's going Hello on? Two amigos. Yeah. Hey, mics are live. You know. Levels look good. You know how it is. If something's broken, go ahead and tell the ice operator, they'll fix it for you. How it is. Wednesday's Christian. for the boys. Uh, Hi, yeah, Wednesday's is for the boys this week. Wednesday doing, guy? is for the boys. I am doing great. I'm getting used to the fact that I'm barely sleeping. I'm running on pure fumes every day. And I'm, 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 hey, I'm, you only you only really need like six hours. That's all you need. That's all I need? Yeah. That's and the only actually, goal. now that I'm realizing it, I have to adjust something really quick. You can keep talking. Yeah. I just have to... I all just right. realized that my audio is offset by... Uh, all right, oh, everyone. Wait. So really, really, really quick, a little quick go over of the show. We are just going to do some... Do our top tens of our usual maps, you know, and then we got mm -hmm. we got whack a mole on the table today. We do. It is definitely a whack a mole week. Uh, I got a Milo on my desk right now. He just jumped up and wanted to say hi. Yo, what's uh, going on, gonna Milo? Gonna try to click my mouse here in a second. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a quicker week. It's just the two hosts. Uh, Birdie's taking a week off, uh, and she'll be back next week. Yep. We've got. There he goes. There goes Shark Cat right across my camera. There we go. Um, we've got uh, some announcements for the week. Not a lot going on. Uh, Chicago is still closed. Uh, last I heard is uh, September is when they're projecting to be open again. Um, outside of that, I have a new web camera. So hopefully this is looking very nice. I had to adjust my audio because when Birdie and I stream together, which is an announcement of an announcement... Uh, there's a little bit of a delay between us, so I have to like put a huge delay on the entire stream, so that our audio is synced up with our mouths. Um, so I had to take it off right now because it's just me streaming. Uh, hello to everybody out in the chat, Liana. I see you out there. How you doing? It's nice to see you. Hope your week was good. How's everyone? Hope yeah. everyone's doing great. Say hi in the chat if you're out there. We appreciate you. We see you every week. I'm running on Starbucks and Pure Fumes, you know. The way. Starbucks, Pure Fumes, and a mirror that has a video game in the background. Yep, uh-huh. What, oh, uh, what, yeah. vi what video would... game you got playing right today? Uh, I was playing Rainbow Six, and then I played a little bit of Warface Breakout. It's basically CSGO, but for console, so. Okay, nice. So, up until I get my PC, Warface is the best thing I got. Okay, um, I like it. Uh, Birdie and I have been playing Dead by Daylight duo streaming, uh, so we put both yeah. of our gameplays up on the stream. Uh, both cameras, so you can see everybody playing. Oh, look at Milo doing his thing. Yeah, Milo is just like, totally wanting to be affectionate right now. Yeah. Worst time, my guy. You had three hours while I was sitting there watching and eating dinner that you could have came and cuddled. It's okay, I'll still give you love. I should reward this That's behavior. Right. Um... <laughs> That's pretty much it. We've been streaming a lot. We want to get that Dead by Daylight streaming going a lot. We played with Tom and Joel, uh, some people from the stream community. Uh, I combat Chicago. That was fun. I can't. I can't no. do this right now. Honestly, like look at look at him. Like just he's just ready. Oh man! And he inadvertently clicked the mouse again. All right. Oh. Uh. So, yeah, so uh, my week was busy. Work has been crazy still. Uh, it looks like everybody, now that the uh, looming evictions are going to start happening, the for people not paying rent, everybody and their mother is like, oh, I got to move. All right, Milo. Oh, yes, that's true. That is true. All right, Milo, I'm going to make you a deal. You're either going to get held, you're going to get held, or you got to go. <laughs> there we go. There we I go. Can't, that works. I can't handle, I can't handle him. Doing the whole walking back and forth thing. Um, so every, yeah. yeah, everybody at work is doing... Okay. All right. All right. All right, sir. Jesus. The, the mic is in trouble now. <laughs> and then I touch my mouse and he goes and sits by it. All right. Stay. Stay there. Oh. All right. He's clicking. Give me... Christian, how was your week? I got to take care of this. All right, let me let me just talk about my week really really quick. So basically, my week has been the same old same old. Uh, getting up around six a.m. and then whoa, 
I switch tabs on my screen and then my, you know, life. Um, basically, I'm up 6 a.m., working every day until 3, maybe even later if they decide to give me more work. Okay. Otherwise, but work has genuinely slowed down. Everyone's pools has been open. Everyone's just having a fun time in their pools now. Okay. So far, no one's had any trouble. No one's That's broken good. their pool yet. So That's really like, good. Unless you, unless they let their dog swim, and then, right? Because the uh, one dog produces the body oils of twenty people, so like, oh, that makes sense because they got to protect their fur. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Oh yeah! Wow, that would really mess up your pool, wouldn't it? Uh yeah, the dog hair and all the chlorine that attacks the dog the moment they jump in. Bro. So. Okay, so last week Milo had an incident. Uh, oh. Did did we talk about that last week? Uh, he, uh, he stepped into the candle. He what? No yeah, way. So we have a candle up by our television. No. Yeah, we had some people over, and we had candles lit to make it smell nicer in the apartment. And mm-hmm. he like we have a uh, speaker set up in the corner, and Milo decided it, he wanted to just jump up onto the speaker and roam around. Which he does, but like the candle's never lit. So like he jumped up there, got too close to the candle. And like singed some of the hair on his back leg. No. And then, like jumped oh. off and ran away. Didn't say a thing. Didn't meow or anything. Um, and then we're sitting in the the, the kitchen because Bird was having a meeting uh, with her friends. And mm-hmm. then all of us at the same time were like, "Do you do you smell burning hair? Like what smells like burning? Yeah, what cat? smells like burning? So we like go out in the front room thinking there was like maybe a um." a cable or something, electric cable that got burnt or singed. And we couldn't find it. We're like, okay, nothing's hot. Nothing's melting. There's no smoke. So then I go in the bedroom and I see Milo like licking furiously at his hind leg. I'm like, oh no, I pick him up. And yeah, I found it. It was him. So he, uh, he got a little scorchy last week. So when bird, uh, when birdie left to go take her friends home, I ended up taking a uh, a sink shower with Bur- with uh, Milo to uh, get the uh, smell of burnt hair off of him. So I I held him and washed his backside. So I totally appreciate. This is a long story to say that I can appreciate the amount of fur that comes off an animal once you get him wet. Uh, just like a five minute bath, he left like a clump, probably like that big in the sink. Yeah, like, the sink stopper of hair that just like fell off of him. That's in their hairs. Like, yeah, it was pretty wild. Um, all right, that's enough talking about burnt cats. My week was good. Your week was good. Should we do some top ten here? Oh yeah, you know all it. Right. Off to the top ten. <laughs> We're gonna play this audio <laughs> bite. No, 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 no. <laughs> all right, that was fun. That was the oh no no meme. All right, so I don't have. I didn't have time before the show to get these all set up. So uh, I'm going to run through these really quick. Uh, I'll take care of Madison. You do the next one that comes up. Okay, you got the stream up? Uh, I got. Uh, I was going to say, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. All Let's right. Do it. Let's do it. Uh, tenth place in Madison is Barbarachi with 3,500 points, KDR of 142. Ninth place is Chaotic Knopf, 3,700 points with a KDR of 218. Eighth place, Wags. 5,200 points, KDR of 239. Seventh place is D. 5,400 points with the KDR of 171. Sixth place, Monk Gyatso. 7,900 points, KDR of 541. Mm, bless me. Jesus. Uh, fifth place, Knees Dutz. 13,000 points, KDR of 358. Fourth place, Mad Trap. 16,000 points, KDR 168. Third place is Doki. 16,400 with a KDR of 0.96. He must have been playing on Legendary. Second place is Mac with 16,004 with KDR 155. And first place for the week, Reaper's Death, 19,700 points, KDR 159. We got a high kill streak of Knees Dutz over at 25 kills. And the high KDR goes to Monk Gyatso with 541. People just out of the top 10, we had Jeremiah, Raul, and C. Camp, nice job, guys. Ooh, that is your Madison piece of candy top ten. Piece of candy, yeah. 
I will give it approximately 10 seconds for it to load on your screen, and then you can take care of Waukesha. Uh, well, we're I doing that. Oh, is it up on your screen? Yes, it is. All right, have at it, sir. Basically instantaneous. So, all right, number 10 at the anchor, we got Egg Thrower with 13,000 points. 286 kills. Wow. 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 Already a high number. And a KD of 3.29. What is this? Oh, man. And then at number nine, we got Jay Bakes with with 13,000 points. Wow, I brain fart. 13,000 points, a little bit right. shy of 14K with 198 kills and a KD of 1.9. And then we have the man himself. At number eight, we have sixes and sevens coming in with 16,000 points, a little bit shy of 17K. With 284 points and a KD of 2.99. Probably just one more kill would raise it up to three. And then, number seven, we got Delorium with 17, 17K. Halfway, almost halfway there, or past halfway there to 18K with 314 kills. What are you guys doing up there? Oh my gosh. And a doing KD something, man. 3.0 way. I've... Every time I visit, I can't find it. I don't know what it is. I it's always called, end up. It's with called a having a five-year advantage on you. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Experience, experience. Yeah. <laughs> and then a level, a level thirty-two at the number six spot. We have Yobits with seventeen seventeen thousand six hundred points, one hundred and fifty-three kills, and a KD of one point one point two. Yeah, one point two. Mm -hmm. And then we. At half at the halfway point, we got Frankenstein with eight. Is that an eighteen? Yeah, eighteen thousand four hundred points, three hundred fifteen kills, and KD of one point nine seven. And then at number four, we got Ashaway with tw twenty thousand twenty thousand nine hundred points. A little bit shy. You know, you guys are really close at rounding these off really really <laughs> well. I don't get. You guys are making me work here. Little bit shy of 21k, 289 kills, and then the same KD 1.97. And then, number th at the three spot, stopping it off at our top three, we got Frog Champ, the one dude that kept killing me the one time I visited. We got with 26,000 points, 334 kills, and a KD of 3.93. Is that that? Yep, the highest KD on the list right now. And then number two, a man I haven't seen in a while, Jay Woodland, with 28,826 points, 416 kills, and a KD of 1.7. And then number one for this week is Unicorn Rage with 36,900 points, a little bit shy of 37K, 500. And 88 kills. And then a KD of 2.5. Nice. Whatever it is up there, tell me your secret. <laughs> I have five years to catch up on. I need some. Pretty much. Just outside the top 10, we got Big Omdal, Psychosis, and Too Old for This Shot. Too, <laughs> too old for this shot. Nice job, guys. Good job, everyone. Good job, Waukesha. Keep it safe up there. Keep it going. You guys, you guys are doing great. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, next up is the Michigan Eye Combat, folks. We've got 10th place is 10 p.m. with 19,000 points. KDR 237. Ninth place is Golden Grizz. 21,000 points with a KDR 325. Eighth place is Young Salami with 21,000 points and a KDR of 176. Seventh place is Lord Chanka, 22,000 points. KDR of 218. In sixth place, we've got Jar 24, KDR of 304 and 31,000 points. Milo's currently biting my hand. Uh, fifth place, we got Jelly Bean, 36,000 points, KDR of 244. And fourth place, Tyler, 59,000 points, a big jump there, KDR of 283. Third place, Thermit the Frog, 59,000 points, falling down from first last week. Uh, KDR of 337. Second place is Hogs. 70,000 points. KDR of 292. First place is Meth Morrow for the week. 91,000 points. KDR of 859. Highest kill streak. 54 for Meth Morrow. Nice job on that kill streak. 
ISKDR also met Morrow 859 just outside the top 10. Black Attack, Kill Switch, and Razor. Hopefully, we can see you guys next week getting up in there. All right, Christian, you got Chicago. Oh, man. Okay, so what we got for Chicago is nothing because yep. of close to September. Nothing. So, <laughs> absolutely nothing. Count, count your days, Chicago people. Mark your, mark your calendars or just visit another location, either or. There you uh, go. Whatever you do, keep it safe. Social distance. Put your mask on. Put your mask on. Put your damn mask on. All right. Uh, I'll do the top 10 for everybody, uh, or the top locations. We'll start all the way at 13. SpongeBob from Dubai with 29,000 points. 12th place, Neo Septim from Lake Charles, Louisiana, 29,000 points. 11th place is Jar from Michigan, 31,000 points. 10th place, Jelly Bean from Michigan, 36,000 points. 9th place, Unicorn Rage, 36,000 points from Waukesha. 8th place is Amas from Dubai, 37,000 points. Seventh place, we got The Fat Hobbit for Burberry, Western Australia. 39,000 points there. Sixth place, The Apex Predator. Bunbury, Western Australia, 40,000 points. Fifth place, we got Mahamad from Dubai, 50,000 points. Fourth place, Tyler, Rochester, 59,000 points. Third place, Thermit the Frog, 59,000 points from Michigan. Second place is Hogs, 70,000 points from Michigan. And first place in the world for last week, Meth Morrow. From Rochester, 91,000 points. I think at this point, unless he seriously cannot play for a long time, there's no catching him. That's that's just gone. That No, no one will be first. All right. So there's a set of kneecaps that need breaking. All oh, right. Well. <laughs> nice, nice job to everybody there. Uh, hi, Thermit in the chat. I see you, my guy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, middle of the show, time for the plugs. If you are watching and you like our content, please give us your Twitch Prime sub. Or if you really like us, go ahead and send us some of that real money. We take bits. We take subscriptions. Uh, we'd appreciate your support. We are supporting the community as much as we can. Uh, we will have another giveaway coming out uh, next month, uh, probably the second week of the month. So uh, I don't know for sure. Uh, it depends on uh, when... What's it called? Twitch gets me my money, if you will. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have another raffle coming up for free games. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, uh, programming note for myself, at least. We have now refunded everybody that did pay for the uh, the solo 1v1 league. So if you did sign up from that, you should have your money coming back towards you. Uh, the exception to that is if you paid in cash. I still have to find you in order to pay. Um, or you can reach out to me online and give me a digital payment of options. And then I will get the money back from you or to you that way. All right. That is it for that. We now have a discussion. Oh, yeah. We and do. Our discussion this week is what was that, Christian? It is whack a mole. I am genuinely updating this as we go. That's how far behind I was today. That's all right. We all have our days. We do. We do. Um, all right. So um, I don't have the video for this one. Or I don't have the screenshot of the video, but I will play the video for you here in a second. Uh, Whack-A-Mole is actually a really fun game. I kind of enjoy it a lot. So, uh, video is really coming up nice. here in a second. Enjoy. This is Mission Whack-A-Mole. All players have 100 health and unlimited respawns. There are three Dominator tubes placed on the map. One in Death Row, one in the Showers, and one in Garbage Detail. One of the Dominator tubes will randomly become active. Location will be announced when activated. When a domination tube is active, you must shoot it to score points for your team. Domination tubes will activate at an increasing rate as the game goes on. The team with the most points wins. All right. That is Whack-A-Mole. Awesome. Pretty, awesome. pretty complicated game, actually. I was going to say pretty simple game, but it's actually a pretty complicated game. It, it depends on how you play it, yes. Mm -hmm. Correct, yes. Oh, that's very true. Um, 
very very quick basics for this game um i'll go first mm-hmm. uh noobs right off the bat i tell them hey you gotta go find a tube find a tube stay near it guard it if it turns colors shoot it that's your only objective of course kill the other team uh but your biggest thing in this game is to get and hold area you want to control the map That is, that is very uh, that's, right. That's the basicest I can give it to somebody. Uh, do you have any other tips for the brand new players? Um, makes me laugh when I see this. Uh, don't shoot a tube that's not lit yet. Uh, <laughs> that's fair. They think it's they think it's domination and they just go shooting at it. They're like the moment they see the tube, because some people like we would play domination first because it's a good basic objective game. Right. Uh, but then they would see the tubes again. And then somehow they they run to it, they run or jog they jog to a tube and it's lit up. They're like, oh, it's like domination. I just gotta shoot it and then like I just gotta shoot it, turn it to my color, and then just wait. No, right. Wait no. for the call out. Keep your listening ears open. And obviously the it should be announced overhead, or the ice operator will announce it overhead. Which one is available? Right. Just. Make sure you keep in your mind the three places where it could be. For like for Alcatraz, you've got death row, showers, and garbage detail. Just keep your ears open mm-hmm. as you are shooting people and the tube. Yep, Shanty, you got uh, tube one, two, and three. We haven't really named them. Uh, let's see, Madison. They do uh, what is that? The uh, bell tower, the tent, and the clock, clock tower. Yeah. Uh, First floor clock tower, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Waukesha is the... Uh, is it the ghetto? The, the ghetto, I think it's... I, like, or is it the, the bottom room? room? The, the bottom of tower, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's the locker room, the market, and the mansion. Yes, yes, yes. And then Mattis, or Michigan, sorry... It's the police station, the bell tower, and the gas station. Okay. So that's the space that you need to hold. Um, it's a very campy game. It it's is. Very, very it's campy. incredibly positional based because if you can control the map, you just it's going to be really hard to lose the game. Oh, we forgot Shanty. Uh, <laughs> oh, sh- well, Shanty is two, one, two, and three. It's just down the different alleys. Shanty is one, two, and three. They're in the same spots after you switch. Yeah, sides, Shanty so. doesn't have an easy way to name everything. It doesn't have like a, a a specific theme to each section. So yeah, you know one, what two, I three. you know what I noticed about uh, Shanty hmm. Dom One, the wall that it's put right next to. When you look at it from the map, it literally looks like a number one. Oh, does it really? That's funny. Yeah. So I call it. Hey, this is the one wall, and then. Oh wait, I'm a dummy. Um, so Did Dom a- Tube One is at mm-hmm. one wall. Dom Tube Two is right under the bell for Hell's Bells. Right, yeah, right. And then number three is in the Pac Man room. Oh, it is in the Pac Man room. You're right. Okay, that yeah. room is spray painted as Pac Man. So. Yep. Um, did you know advanced strategy on Shanty? If you're standing on this middle staircase, you can shoot both tubes two and one. Oh yeah. <laughs> from the middle up from not not like upstairs at the side hallway looking down mm-hmm. like actually like where you would lean over to shoot down tube two if you crouch down a little bit you can shoot through the doorway and hit tube one yeah i've never tried it though i've seen it i've done I've it thought about a couple it. times I've you're never super tried exposed it. but if you need to score a point really quick you can that's why i'm so scared because i'm so exposed yeah you get really exposed I really only do it at the end of the game. Um, anyways, um, advanced strategy. That was one of them. You can shoot tubes from weird locations if you're lucky. You can also, uh, as far as Alcatraz goes, I typically will take a couple of really good players. And it's the same strategy for every game in Alcatraz. It's really boring. But you just go upstairs and you hold the top. And then they can't get to the tubes. Um, yeah. yeah. It's okay. just impossible. You can't push unless you can get upstairs. Um, otherwise, yes. Yeah. Otherwise, you're hiding in the. Well, I guess it's okay because you can hide underneath the upstairs landings, you but can. then you just have to make sure that people are better at getting to the tube quickly. 
Oh, I'm gonna yawn. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm exhausted. Yeah, me too. I'm uh, I'm a little. Mm -hmm. uh. Um. I mean, I feel like it's the same for all the fields. If you get map control, you're gonna win the game most likely. Um. What do you think? What's like? What's your go-to strategy like for playing with regulars? Like, you got a good team together. What are you? What are you gonna do? Playing against regulars. Ooh, it's a. Uh... Obviously, I'm not gonna force a downstairs player to come upstairs because, like, it's not their element. So, because I know Justin, Joey, uh, another downstairs player, uh, uh, you know, you're downstairs. You guys know, yeah, you brats, of course. <laughs> I just, don't I just come, wanted to. Don't even come near a tube if I get near one downstairs. I'm not moving. I just didn't want to name a, a host on this show. My ass will park myself in a spot for five minutes, and you are not getting that tube. Your brother, good Nick's downstairs player, also. Way. Yeah. So like, uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna force you guys to come upstairs when like it's not needed, obviously. Right. So like, just keep people. I say this is a place where you where they say uh, think inside the box because you just want to get in a comfortable place. Mm -hmm. You just don't you don't want to force anything that doesn't need to be forced. Kills don't do anything here. So if you're like, if you're like certain players that just love getting kills and matter, you think your KD matters more than the team winning. It's great, cool. Just keep the team off us, but right. establish a role, play your role, don't lose sight of your role, and remember that these tubes could be shot from upstairs. Correct. Um, yeah, I think a lot of regulars forget that part, that there is an objective part to this game, because everyone's mm -hmm. so distracted by the objective, they think it's just free kills. Um, Liana has a good point in the chat. Uh, getting somebody to go in between the tubes and make sure that people are doing what they're supposed to do, that's mm -hmm. wonderful. Uh, it's really hard to do unless you have map control, but if you can get somebody downstairs to just bounce back and forth through the middle section... Uh, just to make sure that those tubes are getting hit. That's great. Back up where people die. Mm. Chef's kiss. Yo. We love, love a good it. teamwork. Yeah, teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork. Everything. It's what we. Sh it's what should be done. Sometimes it's not really done at all. Yeah. Sometimes when I play, I'm not even talking to anyone, and there's a bunch of regulars on the team. So. Right. It's everyone so pill bent on like. <laughs> On their KD so much. Yep. And yeah, this is actually one of my favorite tournament games too. Oh um, yeah, it was played in uh, both tournaments. Yeah, this Chicago. is this is the the game that we played in the finals of the Shanty tournament. Um, yeah, I was there for that. I watched freaking, it. Freaking great. Uh, it was, came it was came close, down to all it? three games. Yeah, we uh, we yeah. we put, wait, was uh, no two games. Um. Came down to both games and we won. No, was it? Yeah, it went all three games because the way they had it set up was, uh, if you win the side, it doesn't matter by how many points. You just win one point, so it was first to two points. So we traded the first two games and then the third game we won by one point at the end. Uh, it was wild. That's really good. That yeah, was it, was, a good it was great. I was glad to watch it. I was glad to watch yeah. it. Yeah, it's a fun game to watch for uh, tournaments too because you have to play tactically, and there's not like a rush to a single objective. It's reactionary, so you really get to see who's paying yeah. attention. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. The day of that tournament, the first tournament, I forgot there was a tournament. <laughs> I came into my combat to play a regular session. I see all these players from different locations here. I was like, where'd you what's going on? And then I see and then I walk to the back when they called my session back. I see you, Mike, I see all of Pew Pew in like purple gear. I'm like, what is this? when was this established? I want purple gear. This yeah. is nice. Uh like Yeah, that uh that the, tournament gear is just like mm, good stuff. The, oh so totally. many sensors. I noticed there's way more. Mm -hmm. There's even sensors on the sides. Like, yeah, there's like oh, I think double the sensors. Uh, Liana also. Oh yeah, shooting these tubes before they get activated. That's also great. 
you're like standing over a tube and like you kind of know like a game sense of when they're going to turn on so you just start blasting into the tube and then you just hear it beep underneath you and you're like ah, i got it i was gonna say it whistles at you when it yeah. activates so like just you get, you get the little the you get the little tweet yeah and then and then the ice operator is like garbage details activate and captured by 10k <laughs> yep you just interrupt them in mid sentence. Hi, Milo. Um. Later, Milo. Yeah, it's great, man. Oh, Whack a Mole. All right. Hot take. Whack a Mole is one of my favorite games. Everyone hates it. Most people hate it. I love it. Like it. it I is. genuinely love Whack a Mole. I think it's one of the more balanced games. It is really fun to play it has a lot of points potential because if you can get kills and you can capture points mm, that's good uh if you're playing on legendary it's a great game because you get so oh, many bonus points yes. every time you capture a tube have uh do you know how like at the last like 10 seconds of the game like all three tubes go off in those 10 seconds yeah yeah. Have you ever just like waited at a tube and just like fired your whole clip into it during the yeah. last ten? <laughs> yeah, it's so great. Oh, Thermit! Thanks Thank for you, subscribing, Thermit. man. Tossing us back that You're... sub. I appreciate it. Five months great. for you, my guy. You are great. Um, but yeah, it's so funny because we were. I had a. I had a game of whack a mole. We were down by. We were down by two. Mm-hmm. And then me and I don't know whoever else on the other side of the map was just spamming their clip down to two. We were able to make up those two points. <laughs> it was a, it was the most stolen win that I've ever done slash experienced. Right. Yeah. Um. What 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 Christian's referring to is the last like thirty seconds. If someone captures the tube quickly, it'll go tube like ten seconds later, another tube ten seconds later, another tube. Yeah, so it's it, not like it, they it, all it, it, activate yeah. at the same time. It's like tube one captured, tube four captured. Um, it's pretty cool. Yes, it's automatic. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, the tubes right. are activated randomly, automatic, and it does not allow back-to-back activations. The ice operator does not pick which tube is activated. Correct. So effectively. There's a 50-50 chance after the first one goes off of which tube is going to go on next. So obviously, if Death Row is activated, it's not going to be Death Row again. Right. So and, Yeah, it's a 50-50 chance of one of the other two. And if which you're the hustler... Why, yeah, which is why sometimes you'll get games where it'll go Death Row, garbage, Death Row, garbage, Death Row, garbage, Death Row, garbage, Death Row, garbage. Literally! <laughs> you're just losing the worst shitty coin flip ever. Yeah, and then... You're that one guy waiting at shower for it, and then the moment you die, that's when showers is called. It's, yep. I hate it. It's happened. It happens too often. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, this is that's another reason why it's one of my favorite games, though, is because I can kind of just protect an objective, and everybody else comes to me. And if there's anything, I enjoy being lazy. And if you're ever too tired... Go get your gear swap. This is the game. Oh this yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Um, right. So uh, field differences. Uh, obviously, yeah. Alcatraz is very long, so we got lots of long hallways to protect. Uh, Shanty is your basic city, so lots of twists and turns. A little bit upstairs play, but not a lot. It's not as safe to go upstairs in that game. If you have Pac-Man room, the spawn next to Pac-Man room, you yeah. have an advantage. You have yeah. Big advantage. You almost can't lose that tube every time it turns on. So, like, if your game starts with Tube 3, which is Pac-Man Room, I mean, you're most likely going to win because after that, it, it it's going to go back to 3 so often. Yeah, it will. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... Let's see, Madison. The I think Madison is one of the more fair fields. Uh, the middle is wide open, pretty much. The guard tower is favored to the... Officers' quarters, I believe, and no, I'm sorry, it's favored toward the other side, motor pool, and then the clock tower is favored on the officers' quarter side. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, love that field. Uh, Waukesha, I don't really know if there's an advantage. I would assume the advantage goes to the side that's on the right when you come into spawn. 
Um, only yes. because the because. one, the locker room tube faces that direction. Oh, I was thinking, uh, what's it called? If. Oh, if I guess they have a new, they have a better entrance market, to the mansion too, don't they? Or market or mansion? Mansion? Yeah, mansion. If the first tube is mansion, they have like a, they have a really short distance to get there and claim That's that true. too. That's true. It's kind of like Pac-Man. Room, okay. In my um, opinion. Yeah, Michigan. I from what I hear, the I never you, it, Yeah, Michigan. The alpha side apparently is really powerful right now, which is the opposite of what it used to be. They've put up enough obstacles now where, uh, if you're on the alpha side at the start, I think it's 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 very uh, advantageous. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's it. That's the fields. It's the fields. Fields. Uh, it's improvements. Ooh. Yeah. Would you make any improvements to this game? What would I like to improve? Hmm. Rules changes anything. I wanna. Okay, I had a, I had one in my head, but after I think about it, it's not a, it's not a great idea. I was gonna say add more tubes, but <laughs> that just makes the game more confusing. There's more locations to learn. Yeah. And it's, it'll be hard for the newbies. It would. Um. Another one is. It's not like, ooh, it's like, it's somewhat like King of the Hill, if it's held, but just have only one tube, or li- like limit the tubes, <laughs> or okay. for the ice, or for delta fixing slash ice operating, I would say give the ice person power over which tube is activated. Oh, that could be interesting. Yeah, because, uh... If- if like uh, I'll say camera teams down Delta three, they need it. They just need to pick me up. Just put everything on in their favor, you know. Yeah. Obviously, I'm... don't make it the same one twice. Ooh, but I am sorry for that yawning. That is rough. Um. Uh, you're fine. Yeah, I'm gonna be going to bed after this. Um. Yeah, I I don't really have any objective rule changes I'd like to see. I think the game goes pretty well. Um. It's already a good game. It is. It's a very it's good already, game. It's already a good game. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I like it. Uh, Thermit says that the field is actually pretty balanced in Michigan, so I believe him. Mm. All right, yeah. Um, he says it's balanced. It's balanced. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, I trust you there. I trust you there. Cool. That is Good our one discussion. That there, not me. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> nice. That is our game discussion for the week. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a quicker show today. We're probably going to get out of here in the next five minutes or so. Um, anything coming up this week, Christian? Anything you're looking forward to? Any video games? Any animes? What you got? Uh, tomorrow, I'm, uh, I'm streaming again tomorrow. Nice. Streaming again tomorrow. Most likely after work, after my workout. Oh, yeah. I've been working out a lot. Uh, <laughs> All right. That gym. That gym. It's been great. I like it. But tomorrow I'm expected to stream around six, seven PM, somewhere around there. Okay. You can look out for me. Sweet. Awesome. Are you doing Call of Duty streaming still? Call of uh Apex. Apex. Oh Apex, that's right. Okay. Cool. Apex. I love Apex. Uh I am gonna continue streaming Dead by Daylight. Uh, I love that game. I'm actually going to stay up a little bit later tonight and continue to play because, uh, yeah, I'm not going to bed yet, even though I'm tired. I'm gonna. If, I'm not even going to shut the stream was... off. I'm just going to let the stream run after this, play through some music, and then come back in about ten minutes or so. Um, if so there if was any... cross platform, I'd join you. I know. Definitely. I would. I would love that. Um, if anybody yeah, wants to play, more. <laughs> yeah. If anybody wants to play, feel free to join me. Um, I'll say probably about 10.30 I'll start actually queuing up into games. Uh, if I play with people, I'll be a survivor. Actually, I'm just going to play Survivor today. I'm going to work on getting some rank ups. Um, so I'll play Survivor. Blood points. Man. Yeah, we like points. All right. Um, this week coming up, hey, uh, weight loss update. I'm down a total of eight pounds now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. weighed, I weighed in on Saturday and I lost another two pounds from the week before, so that makes a total of eight pounds. 
Hey, look at that. Sunday, I went for a 16-mile bike ride uh, oh down Lord, to Lord. Navy Pier. That was fun. Uh, tomorrow, I think Bird and I are going to go on a bike ride to the 606 Trail, which is just uh, All right. about a 12-mile loop from where we live, so that's going to be fun. Uh, she is also doing well on her diet. She uh, just weighed into, I think, a small loss, which is great because she is already pretty close to what her ideal weight would be. Um, so good for her. She's doing what she needs to do. She just got brand new running shoes as well. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, so she is she's doing well. Um, her and her friends are working on a uh, getting an organization officially organized. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's a uh, it's a group to support artists. Um, that's pretty much all I can say, probably right off the bat. Hey, awesome. Um, yeah, they're hoping to get that done in the next six months to a year. I am I'm not an official part of it. Uh, but I am their business organizational consultant because I have a business degree. Um, yeah. In entrepreneurship, so I know stuff about starting up businesses, so that's kind of cool. Um, I am getting an itch to play iCombat again. I just don't know where to go. Um, looking at where the locations are active, it feels like Waukesha is probably my next stop. Waukesha. I would love to go to Madison because I love their field and I have more objective eye combat friends there, but it doesn't look like much is happening over there right now. The thing about Madison is that there's also no headband use, so oh, okay. you're, aiming, you're aiming for shoulders. Uh, uh, I don't aim for shoulders anyways, I aim for guns. Headbands uh, yeah, and that, guns, yeah. my guy. Headbands and guns. The and, only uh, sensors you can rely on. Oh yeah, so for they changed the field in Madison to accommodate for the lack of headbands. So oh, really? uh, yeah, they, they cut they cover? cut off the, they cut off yeah uh somewhat they cut off the upstairs for the spawns and they cut off the upstairs for the clock tower. And me really? and Doki love fighting over the top of the clock tower, and then they took that away from us. They basically took away both our games, and now we had to make a, make a new game. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was fun playing with Doki that one day. Nice. Yeah, it was great. That's pretty sweet. But yeah, so basically, there's limited upstairs in Madison right now. Okay. Makes and sense. then you can obviously still go upstairs for the towers, mm -hmm. the guard towers, because like it's easy to get shot down. Right. You can get shot down from so many angles. Yeah, and you're so. not really covered the whole time you're up there. Cool. So, All right, yeah. I think that's gonna wrap us up for this week. What do you think, Chris? Should we should we put oh, a bow yeah. on this one? Should, should we get some rest from our exhausting weeks and days? Oh yeah. All right, so, all right, my guys. Uh, this has been the Gear Swap Podcast, episode twenty-five. Thank you guys for coming out. Please sub, bit, send bits if you like us. Thermit, thank you for re-upping your sub. We do appreciate it. Uh, we have one week until our next show. Uh, next week is week 26. Uh, we're going to continue with our normal show format uh, unless anything changes in the world. So, uh, as always, if your eye combat's open, uh, make sure that you are getting the best experience you can get. And if your equipment does not seem to be up to snuff, if it's feeling a little bit deficient, uh, go wake up that ice operator because you know he's taking a nap. Unless he's in Michigan, then he's streaming. Uh, by the way, twitch.tv slash mycombat, M-I-C-O-M-B-A-T. Go watch their stream, please. They want viewers so they can upgrade their account. Uh, they deserve it. They're putting on a hell of a stream. They got 16 or 12 cameras or something that's all over the field. You can watch their games. You get music during the game. It's it's a good time. Um, Dude, I always host if it. You're so planning on... Yeah, if you're if you're oh, watching sorry, my stream, yeah, no, it's okay. If you're watching my stream, I host it when they're live, so you can get there through me. Um, mm -hmm. but it's it's absolutely worth a worth a view. All right, Christian, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say if you're thinking of going out there, studying their map, that's it, right there. That's yeah. the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, that's gonna you be it for the week then. Yeah, we've Sweet. got one week. If you don't like your gear, go get a gear swap. It's your God-given American right to have equipment that works. 
Yep. We love you guys. We will be back in one week, uh, 9 o'clock pre-show next week. Uh, we'll be there on time this week. We had some issues this week, but we're going to get it together. Good night. We love you. Have a great week. Stay safe. Stay Social safe. Distance. Wear your mask. Social distance. And we'll Put your mask on. Seven days. Put your mask on. It's not hard.